Thank you, thank you, thank you. So everything's like a um, layering process. Let me get another piece too. I was gonna say, maybe the, the one that you showed the kids with the three steps. Yeah, I was trying to find that one. Ah, here we are. Yeah, right in front of me. He did a great demo for the students so they could follow along. All right, so um, everything, of course, has a name too, right? So this is the um, belonging layer. And the uh, thought being is that we all want to belong to some type of community, right? Yes. So I start with these uh, fields of color in a very organic sense. Okay. Then I go in and I do a Ooh. thing called a quilting layer, which are what I use with the um, Adinkra symbol stamps that I make out of uh, insulation boards, right? Out, out, of ins out of what? Insulation board, which is like a building material that, yep, awesome. So it's like, I like go to Home Depot or Lowe's because Home Depot has pink and a Lowe's has blue and green, <laughs> uh, <laughs> depending on what's on sale. So exactly. Right. So um, I like take these and like I carve my symbols and I use them as a uh, block oh. so that I can do a um, block printing process. Nice. And so I use um, Adinkra symbols mostly because I love how their symbolage becomes language in and of itself. Yes. Once I do that quilting layer, which is like a, you know, quilting like your grandmothers have on the beds and whatnot. Yes. Then I do this flourishing layer, which is like a green or whatever color that I decide because it's like um, vintage designs or wallpapers or patterns that I find walking around and I mm -hmm. like, oh, I like that. And it basically represents um, gardening and developing really that we all change and flourish as we grow. Then there's also writing. I don't know if you can see the writing, but yes, I writing in that. a whole bunch of my work, right? And that's what I call the authentic layer, the um, thought layer, because we get to be who we are when we journal a whole lot of time. Nice, nice. And then I'll put a portrait on front. Wow. So, right? <laughs> Uh, and, yeah, thank you, thank you. And that is the simple process of it, you know. Um, the more I don't know, intellectual, emotional process is how do I choose what I need to have? Okay, so like this piece I have right here, this is a piece I've been building since I've been here, and uh, every couple of days I learn some things and I add to the piece, and it kind of tells me what to do next, all right? Beautiful. So the first layer is the belonging layer, which is the yellow, the green, and the blue. The green is kind of the shape of the island because I see that everywhere. I see the shape of the island everywhere, right? Whether it be on t-shirts and there's a sculpture that's down in the courtyard, whether it be on signs, it's, it's just present. And then, and, and then reading about the colors, of course, the white, the yellow, the green, and the blue, um, I've gotten lessons as to what they represent. The white we have is actually a design of one of the chairs downstairs in the courtyard, okay. right? If you're standing over the chair, this would be the seat of the chair. Oh, yes, I can right? see that, yes. Right, and then this is the top of the chair coming towards you in a um, perspective so that it just looks closer to you. The reason why I chose that design is because the kindness of the people here in St. Croix is uh, very welcoming. That is almost like, please have a seat, please join us. Oh, nice, right? yeah. Right, so, you know, that was like, yes, I need to have that. And then the um, stamps that are in the back, I'm sorry, those are, uh, Sankofa, you know, because the um, um, history is just so thick here and people are constantly talking about the history of St. Croix. Like I keep hearing about it like all the time while I'm here. We don't talk about the history of Virginia all of the time. Why do I hear about the history of St. Croix all the time? So, so there's always this looking back for the future sense. This morning, I discovered what I was supposed to write on it. Because as I said, I've been building it, letting uh, my experience tell me what to do. Because I didn't want it to be, 
I don't know, academic. I, I wanted it to be more authentic, more based on my experiences. Mm -hmm. So I really couldn't preconceive what this was supposed to be. This morning, what I wrote was, I think what moves me most about Crusians, Crusians, yes, okay, cool. I think what moves me most about Crusians is their kindness. It's like it's its own language. Whether I'm walking down the street or driving, I see regal people, a people whose strength echo Jah will provide. You understand? Jah will provide. You are touching me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you are touching my heart. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. So this is what I'm learning while I'm here. And on right. the flip side, it's the energy he's bringing to the teens here um, that he's been working with for the last two weeks to that same energy level. And then actually he taught them about the belonging layer, the adinkra symbols, and they literally did the same exact process. So if you were to go on our Facebook page, you'll see that the students work too. And you taught them the whole process yeah. as well um, with that. So beautiful. Thank you. Thank oh, you're you. very welcome. Boy, you're they, welcome. they, our, our children on St. Croix are really privileged. They're really, they are really privileged to have you in their yeah. midst, teaching them and sharing with them. Thank you so much. So, um, and next week we're going to be working on a mural with him too. So, yeah. The, so, the have you selected a spot yet to create have a you mural? Selected so any spots that'll be yet? exciting for Frederickstead. Yes. Um, the mural is going to be down by the Fred, um, on the shipping container. Oh, yeah. That yes, is like what yes. twenty feet long, mm -hmm. twenty foot long shipping container. Nice. Right across from the library. So that'll be a really nice place. So you'll use that whole next week to, to work on that? Yes. Okay. Yep. From like nine to 12 every day. Every Until we day. finish, you know, if we, if, if we finish ahead of schedule, then that's what that will be. But of course, having that time that's necessary. Sure. We definitely need it. So how long do you expect to be on St. Croix? Till July 29th. Oh, yeah. nice. Right, right. Which will be like a month because I because yeah. I um got here on June 30th. Okay. So it'll be the full month. And so next week, um, end of the week, is it Friday that there's the um art, your artist talk? That's on Saturday. Saturday. Saturday, yeah. July, Saturday, July 23rd. Um, at um, 1.30, the doors will open. Um, we'll have the bar set up at downstairs. Um, and his talk will start promptly at two o'clock from two to 3 p.m. And he'll share with us some of his artwork and yes. discussion. Um, and then the permanent collection is going to be there as well, too. So it's the opening of our permanent collection with some new pieces that um, the public has not seen yet since we've acquired oh, them. Cool. Oh, right. I did get an, an invite by email from uh, Jay today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's putting that out to the public. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. So we're excited to have the opening with Clayton. Um, discussing um, all of his uh, artwork that he was able to create here and his past pieces um, too. So um, yeah. It's going to be cool. Yes. You got so much to talk about in one hour too. I'm saying, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking that I, if I'm going to see if I can do this, if I can. Oh, I didn't hear. It. Oh, I heard it. I took a screenshot. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> then let's get our smiles. <laughs> so um, what did I want? Oh, I know. It made me think about it when I was taking the screenshot. You took photos, you said, Jessica. Do you have any that you can share that I can use in the narrative when I write? Yes, I have, I have a whole bunch of photos from both okay. the, the, the female week and the, and the male week as well. Yes. Okay, if you, I'll do this once more if you want to smile. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so thank you so much. I'm, I'm so happy we were able to connect today. I hope you'll come back to St. Croix because oh, I will. Oh, trust and believe I will. You will? Fabulous. Oh, most definitely, most definitely. You know, thank I've been like planting seeds in my wife's mind. I say, hey, you know, 
Carnival's coming up. <laughs> right. We got you know I mean? to do this again. Yeah. Right. You know, let's take a little extra break. Nice. Yeah. So is there anything you wanted to share? I have, um, when I write the narrative, I'm going to include quite a bit of what, what you've been doing. You, you are so prolific. You do so much. My goodness. When do you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question, right? That's always the question. When do I sleep? I've, I have um, perfected the nap, okay? Oh, I love the nap. <laughs> I have perfected the nap. I can kind of sit down somewhere and go to sleep. Whether that's good or bad, I don't know. I think <laughs> that's I good. Go I can go to sleep. Good and I, I don't know. I, 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 I just kind of, I just kind of work, you know, and I just let it come through. I just kind of understand what's supposed to happen. Go with the flow, I just, huh? And I just kind of go with it. Yeah. Yes. You know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yes. I find some sleep. Sometimes it's some sleepless nights, but uh, that is because I have to keep going. You know, it's 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 like it's like writing. When you're mm -hmm. writing and you hit that flow, you can't stop. You can't. There stop. is no oh, it's time to stop now. Stop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's that. it's that it's that same commitment to excellence. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So if I'm only going to get five hours because I, the piece needed nine, then that's what it's going to be. That's you what know? it'll take. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I understand yeah. that. Oh, well, thank so you. Sure, thank Ms. you for your Ms. time. Ms. McKay, wait one moment, if you don't mind. I'm going to get him to share you another piece or two real quick. Just so oh, I would love it. I would love it. He's got it. some pieces and he's, he's being shy. So I'll be the, <laughs> I'll be the, the person who pushes <laughs> Just so you can see. Oh, okay. Yeah. One. You got to show her this was the one you had before. And then this was a piece that I, wow. you know, did while I was um, home, of course. I have a piece that I painted while I was here. It was a couple pieces I painted while I was here. Uh, this Beautiful. piece right here, painted this while I'm here. Oh, wow. Right? It's coming. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Now, maybe I could. Can can Jessica take a photo of you with that piece and sure. send it to me, and I can use that also in the um in the narrative. Yeah, sure. sure. Thank you. Who is that? Do you know? Yes, I do. This is um <laughs> I can't always say her name correctly. Um, Tahira. Oh, let Tahira. me see Tahira. Tahira. Yeah. From Vitzim. What? Duran. Duran from Vitzim. From not... Vi the Abiz. Oh, uh, 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 do you know uh, Ruben? Uh, pardon? Do you know Ruben? No. No. Yeah, because um, I like met them at an artist um meet and greet um last week. Malloy is Malloy the last name? I have no idea. I just know him by Ruben. He like works for the education department. Yes, yeah, so his name. Her name is um, not Tahara um. What is her name? I know her. Um, I mean, I'm gonna look in my in my. Yeah, um, she spells it T O R H E R A. T O R H E R A. Yes, last name Duran. Oh, Duran. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know that I know her. Wow, she's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really cool person. You know what I mean? When I started talking about um, painting people who who like um, live on an island and she was like, sure, I'll do it. And then I met subsequent people and I have other um, pictures of people that I'm currently working on. Met this guy when um, we went to um, Mango Melee. Nice. Right? And then I've got another guy who I met at the artist meet and greet, whose son actually signed up for the um, art class. For the class, oh nice! You know what it's I mean? Beautiful. So, so yeah, so I, so I am I'm working, working. I like your your layering. Wow! Thank so you. it takes. You. So you work in in the paints you use? Uh, are I they use acrylic. Acrylic. I use acrylic. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And they work well with the layering. What I like 
a lot about the layering is that some of the layers come through, right? Oh, yes, yes. Like I don't um, get to block everything out. Some of them are kind of translucent. Some are a bit more transparent. And I just feel like that that's how we work as people. Some of our um, historical layers or our inner tree rings, if you will, they still come through to our surface. You know, yes. they still shine through regardless of what has happened to us, with us, or even because of us, those things still come through, you know? And I like it because it sometimes leaves impressions in the skin and uh -huh. those kind of feel like tattoos, right? Yes. They um also feel like scarring sometimes because our past can leave things, right? Yes. And um, I forget which verse it is, but it's like, when you see people with scars, it means that they're change agents, you know, that um, they've tried to create a difference. And as yeah. a result of going through that, they have to experience some um, type of tragedies in order to actually uh, affect that change. Okay. And so, and so they have Which created the scar that, yeah. yeah. You know, fabulous. Wow. I love your mind. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow. So your talent is just amazing. Just amazing. And I, I really, really respect it and I admire it. I just, I mean, you, you are just so holistic, you know? Thank you. Thank you. Yes. It. Yes. I love that. Boy, what a treat! I'm it missing really all of that being in person. I, I trust me. I, uh, I'm so happy that he's here with us for July, <laughs> and that we get to work with him, and I get to to see. And even this piece he just showed with the um, which one was it that he just showed? This one? No, the other one. I, I got to come up earlier today, and I saw this one, and it's yes. in, in today's progress that I saw what like you four or five hours ago. That not even three hours ago, but the, the, the process and the change that Fabulous. he's created in three hours is it's amazing the way you work. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank it you. is amazing. Uh, Ms. McKay too, if you don't mind in the article, can you please mention St. Cory Foundation? They're the ones who paid for all the, the art supplies and the, okay. the stipend as well too. Um, right. To and us. is there a specific title of the, of the um, project or what they- The, the they... project is called Voices in My Eyes. Yes. Voices in My Eye. It eyes, my voices in my eyes is my, the title of his. Okay. And that description that he created, Miss McKay, is on our website um, for the okay. uh, youth programs and it's okay. under there as well as the adults. So there's the description he created. Okay. Um, but it's St. Cory Foundation and it's as part of the Sprint to Excellence grant. Oh, that that's the me. name. That's what I wanted to know. Yes. Is, is, say it again. The or grant maybe is called, you the can grant is called email Sprint. it me. Yeah, I can. Sprint to okay. Excellence grant. Yeah. They're the ones who were able to give us, besides for our quality instructor, um, quality art supplies as well, too. So we were, the students actually had 16 by 20 large canvases. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. The kids were like, well, this is the first time I've painted this large. So they were really <laughs> excited. Right. Um, we had brand new paintbrushes for them. Um, yeah, and cool. uh, yes, the whole, the whole nine yards. So that way they were um, professional and ready to go. So, exactly. and it makes a difference. So it does make a difference. Yes. Yeah. Nobody wants oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know I didn't want rose art crayons. <laughs> what did you say? I didn't hear that. I said, nobody wants those rose art crowns. You know, the, 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 the they kind of crumble. So yeah. <laughs> Great when you press them. Opposed to like the, you know, the new yeah. brand Crayola. So, yes. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> so we went Crayola here with all, with all the supplies. So we just right. quality on um, paints and paintbrushes and the large canvases. And of course, having an amazing instructor like, um, Clayton made a huge yes. difference for the students. So, so and, as beautiful. well as the adults too. So we're looking forward to the adult class. We still have a few spots left for Saturday. I'm, I think there's only like two more spots left. Oh, wow. And then we have the artist talk there on Saturday, the 23rd. Um, and then Clayton's wife comes on the island and, yep. uh, and she gets to see all the, all the greatness. And uh, I kept telling him when he went to Mango Melee and everything else, you're having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> she gets to see it on Facebook, so, you know. <laughs> She's like, what was that you were eating? <laughs> yeah. Salt fish, baby, salt fish. Well, it's funny because I had told him before, Miss McKay, it's July, it's our slow season. I was like, 
I was like, you know, you're going to come in July, but, you know, thinking to myself, I was like, it's kind of hot and there's not that much probably going to be going on. Yeah. And then it was just like, oh, every week. And now it's just... one thing after the other. Beautiful. One thing after the other. Yeah. There's yeah. always something happening on St. Croix. So, so glad St. Croix had a seat for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, indeed. Indeed. Oh, welcome in seat. Yes. Take care. Blessings to you. <laughs>